So very briefly, I want to go over how to create your own script. And so this is a way to say, okay, well, I want to be able to just, you know, write a function, input a couple of variables, and then output an answer. And so one of the ways we can do this is um, if we, if we, I think it's either a right click or if it's on a, a Mac with the trackpad, you, you hold it uh, with two fingers and you click um, and it toggles back and forth or you can click on script and go back and forth like that. So the first thing we do is give it a name, like my funk, and then we list a bunch of parameters. So let's say, for instance, A, X, T, Y. You know, T, Y is gonna be the name of the variable. Um, so we can do something like, you know, A times X plus T, Y, for instance. Now, this is very important. You have to either hit enter or click on enter in order for Math Studio to register this new function. If you don't do that, it's not going to, um, it's, it's just going to return uh, my funk with the parameters and it's not going to evaluate what you want it to. So you have to uh, evaluate the script first. Now I can do things like input one, two, three, I get five. If I try to do less than three parameters, then it'll just return this uh, statement, which is basically saying, okay, well, there's no function defined as my funk with two parameters. Here's a neat little trick you can do. Let's say sometimes you want to just assume one of these guys is, you know, one, if you don't specify it. So that's, this is a way to do it. So if I hit enter now, it's registered. So now I can input a third parameter and that third parameter is three and it stays as five so that's fine but now in this case here what it's going to do is it's going to assume that ty is equal to one so in the event that there's only two parameters it knows uh, a default value for that third variable so that's uh, an example of how to create a simple function another uh, more uh, complicated function would be if you want to use an if if statement so for instance if a is less than B. And now if I want to add another line, I can either do shift, enter, or I can hit this button right here. This uh, what looks like a carriage return to get another line. So if A is less than B, maybe I'll return A squared. Uh, else, I'll return A times B. And, and then, um, so there's two things I can do. If this is, if these are the two values I want to return, I can either do return around both of these and hit enter my func 2 of say 2 4 it should return well let's do 2 comma 5 and this way it'll return 4 uh, otherwise I could I could write um, let's do 6 and 1 and it returns 6 uh, another way to do this is instead of doing return, we can assign, say, a value w, w equals, w equals, and then at the last line, we'll do w. And then this way, it should return the same values it was returning before. So it's another way to do it, especially if you're doing uh, more complicated stuff and you just want to assign it a value, um, you can then return the value at the end. But make sure that you put this w here. If you don't have it, it will assign w that value, but then when it gets to the end, it's not going to know what to output. You've assigned w this value, but you haven't told Math Studio that you wanted to output that value.